Hello guys, if you like videos on military strategy and technologies, then please consider subscribing my channel. Humans have always loved to go to wars. Since prehistoric times to the modern era, human warfare technology and tactics have evolved. But this evolution got a jet booster after World War II. Suddenly after Second World War, we had nuclear weapons, intercontinental ballistic missiles, jet-powered fighter aircraft, computers, penicillin radars, and much more. But if we compare how currently modern warfare is fought with World War II, things have changed drastically and changing every second as we speak. So today we will be talking about future military technologies and new tactics a nation and a battlefield commander will have to adopt to win a war. I have made this small matrix of some important military technologies and the progress and advancement that they will make in coming couple of decades. Please note that all the speculation is purely based on my own assessments so you are more than welcome to correct me. I have broadly chosen 8 technologies to focus upon, out of which I will only talk about the technologies which fall under the revolutionary advancement column or grid in the matrix. But I will broadly touch upon all the 8 major technologies which are displayed in the matrix. So let's start with sensors and engine technology. Sensors and engine technologies are surely improving very fast, but I do not see a groundbreaking breakthrough in engine and sensor technology in next 20 years, although implications of these technologies will do the job. Projectile and missile, laser weapon and stealth technology all will fall under high advancement grid. Since hypersonic weapons will become a norm by 2040 with possibility of wide proliferation around the globe. If I specifically talk about laser weapons, then laser weapons are at very novice stage right now. So even a slight advancement in effective deployability should be considered as high advanced stage. On the other hand, stealth technology has actually came very far. In future, stealth technology will enter stage 2 and the radar cross section will be even more reduced accompanied by advanced radar jamming systems. By synthetic material, I mean to imply nanomaterial and human enhancement devices. If I made this video in 2040, I might put these two technologies in revolutionary grid. But as of now, the technology is still in very early development stage. Now let's talk about the two main technologies which are gonna affect almost every variable in this matrix. That is, computer system and autonomous technologies. It should be understood that when I talk about computer systems, I include hardware, software, and cyber warfare. And technically, autonomous technologies can be included in computer systems, but I have coupled it with robotics. Cyber warfare has become one of the most important non-conventional military tool. Cyber attacks are now performed by state and non-state actors. With more advanced technologies, nation can use cyber warfare tactics to steal sensitive information from storage devices. Cyber attack and advanced computing power can be used for processing, analyzing, determining this information and employing it to inflict damage on enemy network systems. Cyber attack can also take form of attacks on communication systems, organizations and strategic infrastructure. It should be clearly understood that cyber warfare is not a single occurrence. Cyber warfare is taking place constantly as we speak and it will form a whole new meaning in future. In future, cyber attacks can be organized, unorganized, state funded, non-state funded. All this will make even bigger military powers to be very uncertain of source and type of cyber attack they are facing. To defend from cyber attack, computer systems and sensitive data storages will be needed to be installed with countermeasures. Over 30 countries are working on cyber security and Russia, China and US are believed to spearhead the process. It should be understood that a country with good cyber security can also blow counter attack or use it for offense. Now let's talk about robotics and autonomous systems. Robotics and autonomous systems are other revolutionary technologies which are set to change the way wars are being fought. Military AI will make robots to fight tactical wars and take decisions on their own. 
it must be understood that when I'm talking about future robotics in warfare, I'm not talking about present day human controlled UCAVs, but I'm talking about robots which can draft battlefield tactics by themselves. One of the best examples of military artificial intelligence is swarming drones. DARPA's Offensive Swarm Enable Tactics Program, also known as Offset, aims to deploy over 250 drones in single swarm unit. And these self-reliant units will eventually accompany small infantry units in hostile situations. These self-reliant drones, as they call it, will be used to collect long-distance intelligence and maybe also act as a fire support system. These small drones can replace almost all intelligence and fire support units in far future. And to counter these drones, there will be need of another swarm of countermeasure drones, absolutely obsoleting the modern air defense and radar technology. In future, autonomous robots will completely overtake most of the intelligence gathering and battlefield support tasks. US is already working on AI of unmanned ground vehicles. An approach called Adaptive Planner Parameter Learning from Demonstration APPLD, will make AI systems to learn adaptive tactics by observing soldiers doing day-to-day -day tasks. It has already been tested. This path-breaking approach will lead the way to develop futuristic vehicles in sea, land and air as true companions. All these technologies will force militaries around the world to change their tactics. Multi-domain operation is a new term with old meaning. In future, a military commander will have to perform cross-domain maneuvers to choose and employ the most effective tool against the enemy. Cross-domain tactics basically mean when a military operation comprises multiple variables, not just sea, air, land, but also space and cyberspace, and a next generation military mind will have to determine the most effective way to blend the resource and complete the operation. This military tactic will force different wings of an armed force to work even more closer. We will have a more thorough discussion about futuristic military tactics in some other video. Military technologies are right now in very exciting days. Let's hope that all these technologies are being developed and will never be used. Spearhead over and out.